What's a giant telescope doing in the middle of the West Virginian mountains? Let's dish the dirt on radio astronomy. This is your passport to discovery. Welcome to wild and wonderful West Virginia. I'm here in Green Bank, home to the Green Bank Observatory. The NSF is the federal steward of ground-based astronomy. We fund telescopes like the one behind me all over the world and fund and participate in cutting edge science in order to find that next great discovery. The telescope behind me is the Robert C. Byrd Green Bank Telescope, or GBT. It weighs a mammoth 17 million pounds and is 485 feet high. That's taller than the Statue of Liberty. NSF is really proud of having been one of the, uh, been the driving force behind Green Bank uh, Observatory. The Green Bank Observatory is actually an NSF owned and operated facility. So that means that everything that you see here was funded through NSF um, dollars, so all of the telescopes and everything else. And is in fact owned by the National Science Foundation, owned by the federal government. We've got access right to the very top. So come on and let's see what we do up there. This telescope looks big on the ground, but up here, you really get a scale for how big this structure is. It's almost always in use, operating 24 hours a day, 362 days a year. And in addition to being the world's largest steerable telescope, it's also the largest movable land object. So the GBT is incredibly sensitive. It's why we live inside of what we call a radio quiet zone to try to keep the radio noise down like you would keep optical noise down. Uh, the GBT is so sensitive that, for example, just the energy that a snowflake has as it falls to the ground is vastly more than the energies the GBT is out looking for in the universe. Green Bank does more than just study the stars. It educates and inspires the next age of astronomers in its science center, which hosts many camps and educational programs and leads to more than 40,000 annual visitors. That's how I got my start. I came through as a visitor um, in 97 as a high school student. And I only grew up an hour away, never knew it was here, but it inspired me to, to seek a career in that. And I hope that the center can do that for others as well. We've had a great time today learning about radio astronomy and all the great things they do here at this observatory. But unfortunately, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey. I'm Corey. This has been your Passport to Discovery. And until next time, stay curious.